Hello everyone. Hope you all are well and doing well in your studies. Today I am here in front of you to discuss one important topic which is important in political science, in social science for all the classes and all categories, the students and the others. Here the topic is difference between the nation, country, state, province and nation state. What I found in the teaching of the political science, the students are confused in these terms and they use these terms similarly without making a difference. Let me tell you here, there is a big difference in all these the terms which looks like the nation, country, province and nation state and we are using frequently. So what is the basic difference between all these the terms nation, country, province and nation states? Many of you are aware or maybe you have watched a lot of the videos or you have read from somewhere any website or blog what is the meaning of nation, country, province and the nation state. Actually, if you know the division and the organization of any society, how the society is organized. So first, before moving the term, let me clear the one thing, how the individuals how the individuals when they are organized they form the first community then they form society these communities form society so first the people in the different groups the individuals they form communities then they are organized as the society. Society. After that, these societies are organized in some the political forms which are called, in the past they were called the tribes. Tribes are here. The another group was clans, tribes or the clans. Then after, after the struggle between the different tribe or tribal groups or between the clans, what happened? The new system emerged which is called the kingdoms, kingdoms and these kingdoms Finally, they form form of a state. That is the political organization. We are moving ahead from this the political organization from many states, many states to the global. Global means uh, the entire world. Maybe in future, this, the, all states, they can form the one, the, the global government, a global political system, uniform, the one political system for entire this planet, which is not going to happen in the near future. So my dear students, if you are aware the divisions as I mentioned the how society is organized culturally, geographically, politically and administrative divisions. When we talk about the 
कल्चरल डिविजन सोसाइटी इज डिवाइडेड इन द सेवरल कम्युनिटीज एंड दीज कम्युनिटीज आर बेस्ड ऑन देयर लैंग्वेज देयर रिलीजियस प्रैक्टिसेस देयर फूड सेंस देयर फूड हैबिट्स देयर ड्रेस सेंस so everything is different from one community to another that's why they have grouped themselves people who spoke the tamil language they are different from the hindi speaking people because their language is different in the europe the french language and german language is different so the people who spoke or who used to speak this the languages like the french and the german they organized themselves as the different nation they form a different group they have a sub kind of the feeling this feeling is called belongingness they have the togetherness so when the people they are grouped on these the basis the language their the history their culture their costumes this is called a nation it means uh, sometime it may have the territory but sometime they don't have the certain territory this the group is beyond this the feeling is beyond of the territory like the india we have the certain territory we can define ki what area comes under the india from north to south and east to west and for other states also we can say this is called this territory is called this the state or this the region for nation it is not there let's take one example of zeus people zeus wherever they are in the world they are the member of the israeli group the israeli group they are they have grouped themselves under this the one term one the state which is called israel people those who are the kurd they spread in the turkey iran and the parts of the iraq but they don't have the certain territory they don't have one form of government in the political institution maybe they have some certain form of dominance in their society but they don't have like the modern government so whenever we talk about the nation it has the three component three element territory population and government but they don't have the right to take the independent decision internationally which is lacked and that's why it is not the state it is not a political institution the base of this grouping is the culture so nation is the cultural phenomena let's talk about the next one country dear students here country is not defined if i try to explain it then we have to first connect our history students in the past the entire world and the present also the world is divided geographically and this the geographical division the one it was how it was interconnected the first the geographical division here you can say suppose that this the word it and here is the r territory here is the l territory here is the m territory and here is the w here was the z within the one within the one territory several territories were divided and these territories were not independent at any time this 
the ruler could capture this and uh, this capture this 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 means anyone could capture they may follow the command of the one this was the time when the rulers were there when the kingdoms were there like the feudals feudal they accepted the supremacy of their the king or the monarch but after some time they declared themselves as the ruler or monarch they never accept the uh, supremacy of their king so this was the system of the country geographical division of the regions and the, the rulers in present uh, the country is similarly used to define as the state four elements are there of the country that is the territory population government and sovereignty but the sovereignty was not as at present they were not completely independent but they had the autonomy the next one that we can say the province so let's uh, take here the province province the term we use to define the state or uh, for the state we use it A state means uh, like the uttar pradesh haryana madhya pradesh punjab rajasthan like that but actually that india is there india as a federal country india as a federal country india is again divided in the 28 states and here eight union territories india is divided 28 states and eight union territories what it means india is not just the one the united or the one land one the government is not there there is a decentralization of power we have the different levels of the government so entire territory is divided in the several units these units are called province these units are called province but in the constitution indian constitution the term is used as in the first article of the indian constitution says that india shall be the union of states india shall be this state doesn't mean that india is the one here india is the group or uh, india is the one and further it is divided in the 28 state uh, states or 28 provinces and eight union territories this is the basic difference so how the province is not a state in province territory may be there definitely without territory nothing is possible and the second one is the population population is there so to control the population and their behavior we have the government a political system political mechanism so this is called the administrative division of the state now what is state A state is the political division A state is the political term legal term which we use to just define like the india pakistan united states of america bangladesh like these the states they are these are the political states so there is a basic different in the nation that is the cultural phenomena country that is geographical division but at present we are using it as the political term province is the administrative division of a state 
and state is the political division political phenomena legal term it is so the four elements are there to become a state one is the territory second population third government and this government should be independent sovereign government with the supreme authority to take internal and external decision no one can interfere here if you check the provinces and the state so government of india when they pass an order the provinces should follow it that may be the rajasthan government or uttar pradesh government that doesn't matter the central government or the federal government have more power with or uh, from the states government or its units when they follow it means they are not independent for the next one the nation state the last term nation state as the two terms are mentioned here one is the nation second is the state so when the nation is there we already discussed that is the cultural phenomena when people they group themselves in different communities on basis of their language basis of their the food habit their dress sense their costumes and their the culture their history the beliefs their idols whatever the factors are there when they group themselves they have certain kind of uniformity that is called the nation and a state which has the sovereign authority so when people they group and they have the right to self determine means to take independent internal and external decisions they are called nation state actually this term was used in the 19th century in europe when the european countries european or uh, different the kingdoms and the people they group themselves and they attain the political supremacy so this is basically related to the cultural boundaries match up with the political boundaries so india is the nation we all are indians so people they are the or uh, they have the feeling of the belongingness togetherness brotherhood because they love this land the next one india is also a country definitely we are well known geographical area we have clear territory population and the government here india is administratively divided in the 28 provinces and the eight union territories the next uh, next one india is a state definitely we are the state we are independent completely independent for government is completely free to take any internal and external decision without external pressure here india is a nation state actually india is not a such a kind of nation state as the european countries are they group themselves on basis of the culture but it is not for india we are so diverse rich in our culture so diverse culture but that make the nation and the state both so i believe this video will meet you all requirements which you are searching for thank you thank you very much